In Philadelphia, we found lots of brotherly love and carriers of the most contagious condition in the world. Ebola. The cold. Avian flu. A yawn. Yes, yawning. It's one of the most contagious phenomenons in the world. How do we know? Well, partly because of this man's research, Dr. Stephen Playtech, Drexel University's Yawn King. Contagious yawning is a phenomenon that is very well known. Um, if you talk to somebody on the street about contagious yawning, they've heard of this phenomenon. And what we've discovered is that between 40 and 60 percent of people who view, hear, read about, write about, or listen to somebody yawn actually experience the feeling of having a yawn themselves automatically, without thought. That's right. It's not just watching someone close to you yawning that sets you off. It's just as effective when it comes out of the television or even the radio. Amazingly, even reading about someone yawning is enough to set some people off. But why? The reason why we yawn in the first place is unknown. In fact, no one really knows why yawns exist. Until about 20 years ago, scientists thought yawning was a way of getting more oxygen into the blood when CO2 levels became too high. Even the contagious effect of yawning was chalked up to a general drop in the oxygen level of a stuffy room, as if everyone needed a good yawn to top themselves off. It all sounded good until scientists discovered that there's no relationship between yawning and oxygen levels. You still don't know why people yawn in the first place, but Dr. Playtech and his team think they're getting much closer to figuring out why yawning spreads. Using what is quite possibly the most boring experimental setup ever devised, Dr. Playtech had subjects sit in the psychological test room and watch half-hour videos of people yawning. Playtech didn't exactly have an exciting time either. He had to wait behind a one-way mirror and count the number of times each of his subjects yawned. From his uh, exhausting research, he determined that yawning is more contagious for some people than others. People who score higher on theory of mind or experience more empathy than other individuals tended to be more susceptible to the contagious yawning effect, meaning that if they were more empathic, they tended to show more contagious yawning. Theory of mind is what psychologists call the ability to put yourself in someone else's place, to empathize with their point of view, to mentally become them, and as a result, take on some of their traits, which is why one good yawn brings on another. I expect that people watching this show, 60% of them will yawn at least once during this program, and then some of those will even, even yawn more, four, five, six, seven times even. Those are probably the highly empathic individuals that are watching the program. Other studies have shown that contagious yawning is a learned response. Interestingly, children under the age of five don't yawn when shown videotapes of other people yawning. And children younger than about six won't yawn when reading about yawning. Contagious yawning may be a primitive mechanism or a primitive process related to empathy or social behavior and social learning among group living animals. In other words, contagious yawning is really putting your mind in sync with someone else's. So don't be insulted the next time someone yawns in your face. They're not telling you you're boring. They're just saying they understand. <laughs>